Good morning. Here are the Sanibel Island and Southwest Florida update as of January 14th, 2023. The City of Sanibel Administrative Offices will be closed in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday, January 16th, 2023. City Hall temporary locations will resume regular hours on Tuesday, January 17th, 2023. Refuge recycling and vegetation waste collection by waste management will have no interruption of services for the holiday. The Recreation Center will be closed in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The Recreation, the Recreation Center will resume regular operating hours on Tuesday, January 17th. The Sanibel Captiva Islands Chamber of Commerce recently celebrated three post-hurricane business reopenings with ribbon-cutting celebrations. On Tuesday, January 10th, Sea Oats Day Spa held its ribbon cutting ceremony at 1149 Periwinkle Way, and Royal Shell had a ceremony at 1547 Periwinkle Way. Captiva Cruises celebrated on Thursday, January 12th at McCarthy's Marina. Royal Shell, which reopened its Captiva Island office on December 13th, was waiting for power to be restored to the Sanibel office before it had its ribbon cutting ceremony. Captiva Cruises opened late last month with limited hours to locals allowed on Sanibel Island. With the causeway publicly open on January 2nd, operations have expanded using two more boats that were not damaged by the hurricane. The 49 passenger catamarans named Santiva and Playtime will be doing dolphin sightseeing cruises and luncheon excursions to Cabbage Key. On February 6th at 6 p.m., SCCF will be having their next Paul McCarthy Memorial Lecture at the Marriott Sanibel Harbor Resort and Spa at 6 p.m. Side note, if you are not familiar with this hotel, it technically is not on Sanibel Island. The Marriott is located in Fort Myers to the right before crossing the causeway. The main speaker will be Jeff Corwin. If you don't know who Jeff Corwin is, shame on you. You obviously are not an animal lover. I'm just teasing, but seriously, if you don't recognize the name, Google him. Tickets are available at the SCCF website. Prices are very reasonable, $20 in person, or you can watch virtually for $10. Thanks for listening.